Hello and welcome to a new video. This one is about drum programming. And I have Invasion here from Get Good Drums and the good old library. I still like this one, it sounds really good. And I have a little drum part here. The tempo is 210 BPM. The grid now is set to 16 notes. And in my opinion, the two most important things when it comes to drum programming are the velocity of the notes and the humanization. And right now, every note is set to 100 for the velocity and everything is set 100% to the grid. And it sounds like this. It sounds good already, but especially the snare fills here, and they sound very robotic and machine gun like. So this is my little drum map for Invasion in Cubase. This one is reversed, so I have the kick and the snare at the bottom, and the toms and the cymbals above. So let's take care of the snares first. And what I want to do with this tempo, it's a pretty fast tempo, 210 BPM, and with 16 notes, at this tempo I like to build a little reversed ramp here. So we have great snare dynamics here. So let's use them. And now the fill sounds much better to me. Let's go back a little bit. So we have the comparison. Here is another one with four 16 notes, all four at 100, the velocity, and here we have this nice little ramp here. So let's do the same for this one. And let's do the same for the toms here. And let's let's get rid of the kicks in between here. Say we only have accents on the one. Let's also reduce these a little bit. And now the fiddle sounds like this. Let's go back a little bit. And this sounds much more organic to my ears. So again, the whole part with the fills. And another thing we can do is a little bit of randomization. Now the grid is set to 16 notes and we have this function here and I have selected the snare notes and now we can choose a little bit of let's say five ticks and I have a shortcut for one ties and when I hit this shortcut you can see the notes are moving around five ticks let's say six and now it sounds like this and of course you can overdo this. Let's go for 30 ticks. And now everything is way off the grid. Uh, you can hear everything sounds very off. Let's go back to... Let's go for 8 ticks. Let's see. And let's do the same here, 8 ticks, and for the toms, let's say 10 ticks. And now it sounds like this, the whole part. And of course this is, this depends on the tempo of the song. And the song is very fast, like this, 210. Uh, don't overdo this, so everything gets sloppy very fast. 
And now the next thing is the kick drum here. And with this library, with the invasion library, we have an automatic double kick here. So we don't have to separate the left and the right foot. And but what I want to do is let's get rid of these nodes. And with the first four nodes, let's reduce the two and the four just a little bit. Around 90. And now let's copy this again. And also randomize this a little bit. Let's say four ticks. And let's do the same for this part. Reduce the two and the four a little bit. Copy this again. And randomize a little bit. And now it sounds like this. And this sounds much better to me. We can do the same for the hi-hat here. We have the two, the three and the four. Let's reduce the two, the four. Here's the one, the two, four. Here we have the one, the two, four. And now we have a nice little groove going on on the hi-hat. And of course we can also randomize the hi-hat a little bit, let's say 6 ticks. Yeah, and this sounds much better and more organic to me as the one before. So, and now let's say we have a tempo, let's say 180. Then things change a little bit. Now it sounds like this at 180 ppm. And with this tempo, the snare fill start to begin sound a little bit weak. So let's go in and with this tempo on 16 notes, what I like to do is bring it back to 100. Also this one. Say everything. And let's use the 2 and the 4. Let's reduce these a little bit. Let's do the same here. It, that's what that was the wrong note. And let's do the same for the toms. And let's say. Uh, And I think this sounds much better for this tempo. Yeah, this sounds to my ears much better for this tempo than this little ramp. It always depends on the tempo of the song. When the song is really fast, I like these reversed ramps, so call it. And when the tempo is fast, but not, not super fast, I really like uh, accents on the 1 and the 3 and the notes on the 2 and the 4 a little bit lower on the dynamic. But you always can experiment with this. You also can build up a ramp like this. Let's do it here. Yeah, always experiment with this and always pay attention to the tempo of the songs and then choose the velocities and the amount of randomization. So, and that's it for this video. I hope you like it. I hope it was helpful. And please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, give the video a thumbs up and see you on the next one.